Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Benchmade Grizzly Creek Folding Knife. Now this is how it comes in the box. I've just got some uh, promotional material from Benchmade. Comes in a Benchmade pouch. A little bit of information there on the axis lock. And then obviously the knife itself. So taking a closer look at the knife, you can see the nice wood finish on this. Now this is uh, what they call diamond wood. So it's not as if they've just cut a couple of bits of timber and thrown it on. This uh, diamond wood is pretty good because you're not going to have any warping or any effects from water or blood, you know, obviously using this out in the field. Now it's part of their hunt series, so any of the uh, Benchmade hunt series are targeted specifically, you know, for hunting. But, uh, you know, I guess you could have it as like a uh, everyday carry knife. It just depends on what your use is going to be, but in general it's targeted at hunters. Now the um, blade on this is 3.5 inches or 8.9 centimetres in length. The overall weight of the knife is 4.76 ounces or 135 grams. So it's a solid little knife. We've got the uh, drop point at the front of the blade here. Now it is a tip up carry, so in other words, when this is sitting in your pocket, its uh, tip is up. That's all that means. The blade thickness on this is 0.124 of an inch or 3.15 millimeters. The steel on this is the premium S30V steel. So edge retention on this is 7 out of 10. Corrosion resistance also 7 out of 10. Ease of sharpening 5 out of 10. So really S30V is just a really nice balance of premium steel. Now the open uh, or overall length of the knife is 7.84 inches or 19.9 centimetres. So basically 20 centimetres, okay. Uh, closed length is 4.24 inches or 11 centimetres. So look, it's not an overall... Um, big knife, you know, it sits quite nice in the pocket. So if we just go to this clip now, I'll show you how it looks in the pocket. And as you can see, look, it's not over intrusive or anything like that. Um, it just does sit quite nicely. It's easy to get out and then obviously open. So looking at some other features of the knife, we've got the uh, Benchmade Axis Lock here. Now basically, once the blade um, opens up, you can see here that the axis lock goes over the rear tang of the uh, blade and it really locks that in quite nicely. Just to disengage it, just pull it and basically, you know, it'll fall down. It's really quite nice. We've got ambidextrous uh, thumb studs here. We've also got jimping in two positions on uh, the top of the blade. Obviously really good when you're holding it like so just to get a nice firm uh, grip. And then if you want to do some finer skinning, well obviously you've got some jimping at the front there that you can just do that uh, finer cut with. Now at the rear here, we've also got a gut hook. Now it's made out of 440C stainless steel. Um, obviously very, very sharp and uh, you know works a treat. So what I'm gonna to jump to is another clip here, guys. Now, look, if you don't like blood and guts, um, just don't watch this part, because basically I've got a um, uh, hare carcass, or jackrabbit, as some of you guys overseas will know them as. And uh, as you can see here, I'm uh, using the uh, Benchmade Grizzly uh, to uh, prepare this uh, carcass. So uh, just here you can see I'm just doing an incision on the actual um, gut of the hare, and then we use the actual gut hook here and as you can see, you know, deploying that's fairly easy and then, you know, opening up the gut, it just works a treat. So overall, you know, the knife does actually work. I have used it in the field and, uh, you know, it's just a great little knife. Okay, so overall, guys, so, uh, you know, it is a good knife. I can't really complain about it. I haven't found anything on it that, you know, I don't like. And as I say, I have used it in the field. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure if there was something that I didn't like, it would have stood out at the time. But overall, yeah, I really quite like the knife. Now, uh, price-wise, $299.95 here in Australia, okay? So they're about $215 in the US. So considering at the moment, our Aussie dollar is very weak against the US, um, look, not a bad price. However, if you want to save yourself some more money, 
Um, Nebo Knives, where I bought this one from, have come to us and offered a 10% discount for Aussie Review viewers. So I don't get anything back from that. It's just a thank you from Nebo Knives to Aussie Reviews to pass on to the viewers. So if you want to take advantage of that, guys, um, you know, 10% off. It's going to save you some uh, good amount of money on a high-end knife like this. All you need to do is just jump onto their website, neboknives.com.au, and throw in the code Aussie10, and it'll just come straight off the total there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. So till next time, we'll catch you then.